Welcome, Welcome to, to Ten Carat in Focus. Focus, season three. Yep, um, we're back, um, and we couldn't be back without the support of our Patreon supporters. So, uh, first out, a shout out to all you guys. Yeah. Um, these programs are free to watch, but they're not free to produce. You can head over to patreon.com forward slash Ten Carat and find out how you can support these episodes. Nice one, yeah. I mean, I was saying we're back for season three, but it was kind of touch and go. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm not going to uh, lie. It was, yeah, yeah. 2018 was a bit of a sort of a squeaky backside, sort of squeaky. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, we're going to be keeping these episodes a little bit shorter. You've already seen a quick clip of Takahashi-san on stream. There's going to be more of that coming up later. And we're going to be talking about a product where you can see a, a lot of his fishing style, real breakdown and analysis kind of thing that we're probably famous yeah. for, I dare say. Yeah, and uh, I think the key thing to, to take in, we did a great interview with him back in 2017 and, and because of the, the uh, struggles that we've had, we've only just got around to being able to air it. So it's a great interview, mm. but when you're watching it, and particularly when you're watching the fishing afterwards, we're really keen that you understand that um, takahashi is a really high level river angler, full stop. Mm. So without putting any labels on of Tenkara angler or competition nymph angler, He's a great, you know, his river craft, his stream craft, his yeah. fish catching ability is fantastic. Now the methods he's kind of using in the demonstration, and a lot of what he talks about, it's based around melding European competition nymphing techniques and layering that on top of his existing excellent Tenkara skills foundation. So Takashi is a great um, Tenkara angler in his own right, using traditional unweighted kibari, and that sort of setup, but that's all in his background as well. Mm. And then he's looking at how to meld these techniques and being really, really effective and successful on stream with them. But it's just, it's very, very important, I think, to make sure that you understand there's the blending of different techniques and not losing it all in a big sort of like a mess. Yeah, yeah. Um, we've said it before, it's like the fusion cooking. If it's done well, it's excellent. Mm. But if it's done badly, <laughs> so let's let's take a look at that now, shall we? Uh, Takahashi-san interview from 2017. <laughs> So his name is Shin Takahashi, um, Shin being the first name. Uh, he comes from Mie Prefecture, that's in central part of Japan. Suzuka this. A uh, town called Suzuka. They're famous for F1 circuit, okay, or racing. The tenkara o ichiban saisho hajimeri yori natta kikkake narisome desu ne. なれそめですか、なれそめはどちらかというとうちの父親も渓流をやってたので、ですからもう物心ついた頃には岩なつってましたし、餌でつってましたし、でそれと同時に時期がいい時は毛針でつってましたね。あ、でも、その当時はまだ
セットはまあ長さその時によって変わりますよ、ね、その時によってはい。So、um, he uses a number two Japan step spec、uh, fluorocarbon casting line and he usually likes to match the length of the rod and then put on a pivot。僕はどちらかというとたくさんの毛針をあの TPO に合わせて使っていくっていう。あ何に合わせて？あの TPO に合わせて。TP あのですからケースバイケース使っていくっていう感じですね。ああなるほどなるほど。はい。じゃあでそれは日本の毛針ももちろんそうですね。向こうの毛針も。はい、so he actually likes to use a wide variety of flies, including Japanese traditional to anything from Western fly fishing, depending on the conditions of the river that day.、うん、まあマーチブラウンのようなパターンとかはよく使いますし、それからまああのビーズヘッドを使っているようなあのチェコニーフでよく使うようなあの。ペリゴンのタイプとかっていうのもよく使っていきますね。ペリゴン。はい。So, um, how's that pronounced? ペリゴン。ペリゴン。うん。そうですね。ペリゴン。ペリゴン。発音が難しい。ペリゴン。あと最初の何でしたっけ？あま、and March Browns。マジで。うん。Um, anything with bees heads,、uh, things that people use in check nymphing. あとまたパートリッジを使ったようなそのソフトハックルですからパートリッジオレンジとかそういうあのまあトラディショナルなフライのパターンっていうのをもうアレンジして使ってますね。So he likes partridge hackle and he would you know make arrangements you know、uh, try to do something different so that、uh, he uses flies that other people aren't using。一番好きなのはやっぱりソーヤーニーフ。ソーヤー。フランクソーヤーっていう有名な。ソーヤーニム。is his favorite。キラバグ。キラバグ。キラバグ好きですね。その通り。<笑>いやーもうそれはたくさん釣れるに越したことはないですし、大きなのが釣れるに越したことはないんですけれども、ですから釣りのスタイルにこだわるというよりは、そのまずは釣ってみるということにこだわってますね。まあ、ですからまず一匹を釣っするっていうことにパターンを探し出すそういうことですね。というのがそれのプロセスが面白いということですね。はい、so um we're、well, catching lots of fish is great and if he could you know get some big ones here and there that's fun too but it's in the he enjoy the process of figuring out the system that works for that day and that's what he likes um that's what he enjoys the most from fishing tenkara。そうですよね。あのせっかくフライフィッシングっていう伝統があるので、あの別に日本の点からだと言って日本の点からのシステムをまるまる使うのではなく、うんうん、やはりあの釣りやすい形で融合した形にすると取れる魚が増えてくるんじゃないかと思いますよね。うんうん、so since you know most of the countries in the West already have Western fly fishing as a backbone,、um, you know they don't need Don't you wouldn't?、Um, he recommends that people maybe should incorporate the two to make the fishing more effective and fun, and that way you'd probably catch more fish. あの日本の点からにはその沈ませていくときに、えー、魚をかけるっていうテクニックは実はあまりなくて、なのでやはり重りをつけたりっていうような毛針があまり存在をしないんですよ。ところが、えっとヨーロッパのニーフやなんかにはビーズヘッドとかそういう重たいものをつけて、え、そこを流していくっていう釣り方が非常に発達してるんで、逆にそういうところを活用していっていただけると、これは日本の天からの人たちにも言いたいんですけれども、あの逆さけばりやなんかでこう誘っていくとどうしてもこう上へ上へ引っ張る。誘っていく形になってくるんですけど、それを重たい毛針にすると逆に今度はパラシュートがこう開くみたいな感じのアクションをつけることができるので、引っ張るとハックルがこう縮むわけですよね。え、あの日本のまあ日本のやつは引っ張ると逆さ毛針なんでこういう風になりますよね。So、um, this goes for the Japanese anglers as well, but Japanese Flies traditionally, or system、uh, technique of tenkara, was、um, doesn't really include fishing the bottom of the river. So it's mainly luring sasoi action on the surface, or just、uh, right below the surface type of speak,、uh, so to speak. And、um, he thinks if we could incorporate, be you know, weighted flies and fish the bottom, it would really、um, 
make the game more dynamic. もっとダイナミックにいろんな釣りができるようになるよってことですよね。だと思いますね。だから誘いは本当に引っ張るだけが誘いじゃないということですね。はい。He says the、um, the fly dropping, the action of the fly dropping, okay, falling in the water is also 誘い。と思います。ですよね。<笑>だからこうやって引っ張り上げて。それが誘いじゃなくて、そう落とすのが、落とすのも誘いっていうのの演出。そう、it's not always just pulling the fly upwards,、うん、like letting it drop after you picked it up is also a great way to lure the fish and entice it。逆さ蹴りの逆のパターンです。あ,あ、はい。だからまあ普段普通蹴りですね。普通の<笑>巻き方ですね。うん、じゃあわかりました。はい。So、um, just regular hackle, right? If the hook is here, then you, you then Reverse from Sakasa, right? <laughs> sakasa no Sakasa. Desu, sakasa no Sakasa. <laughs> Reverse from Sakasa. Sakasa no Sakasa. Hi. Thank you. 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 Well, that's Takahashi san in his own words, and thanks again to Goishi for the translation.、Um, he talks a good fight, but、um, it'd be interesting to see what that translates to on stream. Yeah, I mean, I think, you know, we've, all of us, I'm sure, we've met people that, that do that. You know, they kind of they sound like it's going to be you know, the next best thing, but、yeah. when you actually get them out there, they don't always deliver. But、mm. I'm here to tell you that with Takahashi san, <laughs> nothing could be further from the truth.、Yeah. We've got the footage to back it up. Absolutely. And I, th- and I think the, the key thing to flag up ahead of watching him is that he's actually fishing about 30 or 40 yards behind a previous angler. He's following、yeah. somebody else up the stream. And that's、here. not the first guy to have gone through that piece of work. No, that it was、day. part of a sort of a, a,、um, a festival, a festival yeah. weekend. Yeah, yeah. So there w a s dozens and dozens of anglers going、mm. through there. He was in a queue behind you know, multiple other people. And he's also got a crowd of、um, <laughs> willing you know, pupils、yeah. sort of actually watching what、yeah. he's doing. There's a guy with a megaphone actually relaying his、um, yeah. explanations. And of course, he's got Ubi,、uh, Uberto Caligari, yeah, who's、yeah. doing some kind of、um, three way translation at the same time. So, one or two、it's、things a, to consider. Yeah, it's not ideal, is it, for, for producing a fish to order?、Yeah. Um, but、uh, take a look at this footage and just see how he delivers. So, the feed head he's using is a size 2.5. The smallest size people、uh, actually get. The smallest size he has in his box. The smallest size of feet he has in his box. That's really interesting. I just got a fish right now. He <laughs> said, I'm sorry because the fish is small, but it's a beautiful iwana. Even if it's small, it's a very nice trout. I should say brook trout. So, what、uh, surprised me of him is that like, he is really fishing like a competition angler, European style. So, He's、uh, really, his approach to the river is、uh, really, really similar to the one that a competition angler will have. Sorry, I'm going to go to the river. 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 僕も同じいつもあのイタリアでなんか説明するときにすっごく緊張してるんですけど<笑>あのリラックスしてくださいリラックスねなかなかリラックスできるといいんですけどなんか面白いこと言って、うん、あの魚,魚がヒット出るから問題ないですよ、うん、はい、えー、一番最初に使ったやつの、えー、マーチブラウンのちょっと重たいのでやってみますはいはい、okay, so basically... Uh, we are facing now、uh, shallower water compared to the previous pool, and so there is no need for a beadhead fly. And so he will go back 
サイズ的には 13, we 13番ぐらいのハックルになってます。あ、じゃあ10、ちょっと一回り大きいハックルになってます。But、uh, not as heavy as a bead head fly. Okay, so plus uh, uh, more than just using a March Brown pattern,、uh, we are trying to use a March Brown pattern with like、uh, longer hackles. And,、uh, I guess this is made to、uh, kind of make more movement, to produce more movement in the water and,、uh, and try to move the fish and try to induce the fish to attack、uh, our fly. Yes, and the fish is there. I want to just to tell one thing. Like、uh, the previous fisherman who was just like a few meters ahead of us just stepped and walked over there. So this means that like、uh, he probably forgot <laughs> where the fish was. Or he probably. Wasn't fishing very well because that's really a truth of、uh, stream fishing. Like,、uh, wherever there is a rock, wherever there is a small、uh, hole,、uh, there is a fish. <laughs> So there you go, just a snippet there of, I guess, what we'd maybe call our sort of reports from the field style、mm. of, of content. And that actually makes up around about a 40 minute on stream masterclass where、yeah. he's, he's teaching the people that were there. Obviously, we were lucky enough to share that. And because we recorded it, we're able to share it with you as、yeah. well. I think an added layer, a bonus to it, is the fact that you've got Roberto Caligaric, who is himself a gold medal winning. Italian angler. Yeah.、Um, Very so, well versed in Tenkara and in competition. Yeah, then, yeah. he'd been living in Japan for several years at the time of filming. And so, what you've got is not only have you got this Tenkara master who's using hybrid techniques, but you've got someone who's well versed in traditional Tenkara and in cutting edge competition techniques, really. And the conversation, I mean, you saw a taste of it there. There's a conversation constantly going on between them, and Ubi's given us. His thoughts and opinions, as well as relaying what Takahashi san's telling. Yeah, he's、so、far, get, far from a passive sort yeah, of. Yeah,、uh, so you get kind of、that. you kind of get two for one on your、uh, on your sort of viewing there and your knowledge that gets sort of dumped yeah, in yeah. just forty minutes. And so this is an existing product that we have、um, out there, but as you know, kind of a, a celebration, I guess, and a revisiting of, of Takahashi san himself, and particularly looking at that melding of the nymphing and tenkara sort of styles. We've put together a very special offer for that kind of、uh, field report style product. So check this out, and、uh, if you fancy it, get in on that right now. Want to know how Mr. Shin Takahashi caught and released a continuous stream of wild white spotted char for his class of 20 students on a crystal clear river mobbed with anglers? To mark the start of season three and to recognise Shin Takahashi's wonderful insights in this episode, We're offering a serious discount on our personal field notes and on stream masterclass footage. The regular price for this field report bundle is $35, but for a limited time it's available at a lot less than half price. The on stream video reveals Takahashi san's secret weapon short hook set tactic for increasing his conversion of takes and hookups. A super effective tactic for nymph fishing in slow water by making use of unloved feathers in your tying kit. An exclusive nymph manipulation technique that has not even been covered in our dedicated manipulations video ebook, and a lot more besides. The accompanying PDF ebook, Field Notes Breakdown of the Masterclass, uncovers even more tactical detail from Takahashi San's armory, including a tactical sequence of fly changes that will give you the most information about the fish and minimize your chances of spooking fish before they've had a chance to eat your fly. 
the exact two flies from Takahashi-san's box that were so successful during his demonstration. A simple but so often overlooked aspect of the classic Semini Tokoro concept that teaches you to hone in and find fish that have not been targeted by previous anglers, vital on busy rivers. The regular price applies to the original bundle which gives you all the great benefits previously mentioned. But we've since added two more bonus PDFs that give you four more flies from Takahashi-san's box, including the hotspot nymph that caused the introduction of catch and release bag limit to avoid angler impact because Takahashi-san was so effective using this fly. An unassuming scruffy bug that most anglers look straight past in his box, but which is an exceptional fish taker. His favorite soft hackle nymph pattern and a great Japanese take on the Czech nymph concept that combines non-scary dubbing with just a touch of attention-grabbing anti-camouflage. Obviously it would take a lot more than $35 to attend Takahashi-san's on-stream class, as we were happy to do, but for the next 10 days you can get the on-stream as it happened video, full of proof of concept fish captures from a tough pressured river, the deep dive analysis ebook, and both the bonus secret flies mini ebooks. And all you pay is $15, about £11. VAT added in eligible countries to immediately download and discover Takahashi-san's hard-won secrets. Just enter the time-limited discount coupon code IWANA to the discount code box at the checkout on the link in the description. That's a saving of $20, so you're actually saving a lot more than you're paying out. And what can you get for $15 or £11 these days? You'll also get a 100% money-back 60-day guarantee if for some reason you decide this info is not for you, so you're not risking anything by trying out these downloads for yourself. So that's it, episode one of season three, uh, done. <laughs> um, we're not going to make any promises about what's coming up and what we're going to do in the future because we've we've it's fell into be, that trap. If anything we can promise, it's going to be experimental. We've got lots of new ideas, lots of different formats, yeah. um, different settings and things to explore. So we're yeah. going to keep it really fresh and really exciting. Yeah. We said at the top of the show, this material, it's certainly not free to produce. I mean, just looking at the air miles we clock up and we do, you know, we're, we're heavily uh, in, in the red when it comes to actually obtaining the material. So again, as with the email uh, content, the email lessons, the video content is not free to produce. So all the stuff that we put out there for free is it, it comes at a cost to us. We love doing it, but we can't do it without the support of our patrons and of our customers as well. Yeah. So huge thanks to you if you've ever bought anything of ours, yeah. and particularly if you're a regular contributor on Patreon as well. Yeah. Yeah. Um, we'll flash up the link. You can get through to that if you want to join in that uh, TIFF tribe family. That's it. We'll see you next time on Tenkara in Focus. Get out and fish! <laughs>